everyone. Welcome to Oz by Drone, the StreamYard edition. We've got Grumpy in the background, but I think I'd better bring him in. He's still got his pretty picture on the screen. Let's see. Grumpy, where are you? Uh, where am I? There I am. Yeah, ah. there we go. All right, there we go. Yeah. My bad. So welcome, everyone. <laughs> this is Oz by Drone Unplugged or whatever you want to call it. I'm just doing some stuff on StreamYard. I better get that little comment off the screen. Let's get rid of that. No planning, no preparation. This is Christmas time. This is I, I needed to have some time off from all of the prep that I do. I don't know if you guys realize it, but even even on the day that I start here, the show starts at 11 Sydney time and I get up and I start some stuff at around seven and all sorts of other things. It's just nice to sleep in on a Saturday. Anyway, Lloyd, how you doing and um, what's happening in your world? Um, I'm doing good. I had a good Christmas. I've just been, I've been lazy all week. We did our Christmas on uh, thanks, uh, Thanksgiving. On Christmas Eve, we opened all our packages and had our dinner and all that. And then I slept Christmas Day. I mean, literally, I didn't wake up until like three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, but uh, other than that, you know, it's been quiet around here. Good to hear. I've still got Nightbot set up um, talking about Catch You Later, which was our guest last week. I'll go and turn that off in a minute. But what I also need to do is to <coughs> fix up my microphone. I don't know if you guys can see the audio from my mic is a little bit delayed. I want to, sh I'll, I'll tell you the story before I go fix it, right? So, <clears throat> what I wanted to do today was to have Wirecast doing the picture going into StreamYard. I wasn't going to do the green screen and that was fine. So I had that set up and I launched Chrome and then all of a sudden there was no picture from Wirecast. So that didn't work. And I said, okay, I'll try Firefox. Firefox, I had the other way around. Um, I had no audio. So that didn't work. And I tried Safari and then audio and picture didn't work. So in the end, I said, okay, look, Lloyd, you can just put a pretty picture on the screen at the beginning, that looping video, and um, I'll do the music just so that we could at least have the traditional music. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and change my audio. But in the meantime, Lloyd, tell us a joke. Uh, you would ask that. Okay. Uh, what did I do with them? I had, there we go. What is the best thing about Switzerland? What is the best thing about Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. <sighs> anyway, um, everyone else, this is open panel, open chat, just Christmas. What have you been doing for Christmas time? Um, I'm going to go and post the invite again if I can work out how to do it. There we go. Get that and I'll paste it in the chat. Anyone who wants to come say hello, you're welcome to do so today. Go and click the link. If, you, if you've if you used StreamYard before, you'll know how to do it. Um, by the way, I've just, I've bypassed Wirecast now, so don't need the music anymore. This is real microphone matching with the camera. Ah, um, <coughs> so quick chat about what's been happening for me. A couple of people have asked me privately, what's the story with my dad and my mum? Um, for those who may not have heard the story, my father had, um, he, he fell down in the middle of a highway, a, a six lane highway, three lanes each direction. He was crossing the road. And um, after that, that was the day after he had uh, a colonoscopy. Hey, Art, welcome. Hey, it's great to be here, Greg. Uh, yeah. I'll just finish telling the story. I'll be yeah, back with ahead, you in a second. Ahead. So dad was crossing the road, he fell over, he blacked out and, uh, you know, a month later or whatever, we found out he had a bleed on his brain, they had that drained and, uh, you know, brain surgery kind of thing and he's back to normal kind of thing now, so that's really good. Then mum had some high blood pressure and she's kind of back to normal now and, yeah, got to look after your family. Yeah. I, you know, I, I guess I had, you know, I'd heard the story. But I hadn't got the part about the colonoscopy was the day before. Yeah. So Sticking in other words, things where they don't belong yeah, will well, definitely yeah, have that I'm, effect I'm on you. I'm sitting here thinking that pain in the ass gave him a headache. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's so many jokes there, but the actual yeah. truth of it is, the truth of it is, when you do have a colonoscopy afterwards, you're dehydrated. 
right? right. Your insides right. have been drained. Yeah. Yes. Right? Just, and yeah. you absolutely <laughs> need to rehydrate yourself. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Anyway, look. A couple of things we're going to do today. We're going to chat to um, Lloyd. We're going to chat to Art. Anyone else who wants to come in, welcome. We're going to do something a little bit different as well later on. I'm going to try and share a screen of what it is that we do to get the news that comes out on Oz by Drone every week, the secret Ooh. squirrel source. Um, did you have the video for YouTube? What's that about? Oh, the, the, the video of him falling on the highway? <laughs> Thunderbird. Actually, I do have a copy of, of that footage. Oh. Um, at the place where we live, there's a surveillance camera system um, for security reasons. I don't actually have the bit where he fell, but I do have the bit where he was running. Because six lane highway, we've actually got traffic lights a long way away in either direction, which change at the same time. So there's you know a gap <laughs> where you can go and get across the road. Yeah. And he was doing, uh, do I have the colonoscopy video? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I knew where he was going with that. And I, I don't want to know where he was going. <laughs> yeah. I was just sitting back thinking, should I say something? Because I knew what he, I just, I don't know, for some reason I knew what he meant. I thought, oh man, should I say, no, Greg, the other video? <laughs> 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 because that is definitely in the TMI realm of videos for YouTube. <laughs> yeah, don't want to go there. Don't want to go there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody wants yeah. to go there. <laughs> so anyway, long story short, dad is a hell of a lot better. He's, That's you great. know, recovering at home. Um just got to get them to stop doing things so much, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Trying to convince your parents that it's time to slow down. Slow down. Very, very yeah. difficult to do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Wait until you get up to their age. You're going to be thinking, God, I shouldn't have given my parents so much crap because <laughs> I don't want to them either. <laughs> yep. I go through that every day. I'll do something. I think, God, I gave my mother a hell when she was doing this stuff, and now I'm doing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. It all comes back to get you in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Especially anyway, anyway, a couple of things. So like I said, I'm going to share my screen in a couple of moments. I'm going to share what it is and how we do the, the new <coughs> stuff. And I haven't done any preparation this week at all for any news stories or whatever. But we'll go and find the news together. We're going to dig it up together. But before we do, Art, what's happening in your world? How was your Christmas? Oh, it, it was pretty good uh, right up until... Uh, right after we opened presents, I got sick. I, no, I was just tired all day. Uh, after we opened presents, my niece and her boyfriend, they left and her daughter and her boyfriend left. So just a couple people left and I, I needed a nap. I was just are so you saying, tired. are you saying that your family was left leaning? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and a couple of people left, and a couple of people left, and, and yeah. okay. So I I took a nap. I woke up and I was just feeling like crap. So I said, "Audios, oh, I I can't make it. I'm out of here." So grabbed my stuff and uh, went back. And then you left. Then I left. And I, I took a nap for about an hour and felt a little better, had some dinner, and uh, yeah, boy, I don't know if I had the flu or, or what. I just really just yeah. Drained. I had the sniffle red nose for a couple of weeks. So, uh, mm. Finally over that, and I'm feeling a lot better today. Okay. Well, good to hear that you're feeling a little bit better. So that's good. Let me go and do this now. I'm going to go and share my screen and apologies for the extra stuff. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Sharing screen sharing is easiest with two monitors. OK, thank you for that. Um, I'll share that monitor. And you've got a whole heap of stuff here. Oh, boy. Can you see that, guys? We see text. Yeah. This is, yep, there it is. Section. This is the news feed. This oh. is the secret squirrel stuff that happens to go and build the show every week. So 
all of this stuff. I've built a computer program that goes and searches the internet for all things drone related. And we go through right. that each and every week. So let's have a look at what the <coughs> most recent news story is. Drone footage reveals damage to local homes after tornado in Elkton. I don't know where Elkton is. Where's that, Lloyd? Uh, Illinois, I think. Isn't Florida. It? Central Florida. Florida. Oh. <clears throat> I live in Oklahoma in the middle of the United States. You know, you live in the middle of nowhere, so come on. That's all right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. You and live there's our right story. I don't know why it's hour. got... I don't know why it's got these um, penguins well, and things. We nice. got some, yeah. 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 But the drone footage um, shows a captured structure and debris and yada yada yada. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like didn't look like much drone footage to no, me. It, no, it no, no. Looked like they had party after. But that's the kind of job that we do every week. If you can imagine, this is six hundred and ninety-five stories. Wow. So think of it as a hundred a day that have got to be filtered down to keep just the good ones. Right. Um, that's, <coughs> that's, pardon me, what happens each and every week on Oz by Drone. I just thought I'd share that as a little bit of an educational thing for everyone. And I'll go back, stop screen sharing. There we go. There you go. And everything that um, goes in there also ends up in Drone Book a little bit later on. Um, by the way, again, um, other people here, um, Matt North, Agent K, Mr. Stay Drunk, Thunderbird, Geeks Varna, you're all welcome to jump in and come and say hello. And come on in. The water's yeah. fine. The yeah, I mean, you saw that beautiful beach, beach footage, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the other thing I'm going to do today is share a little bit of what happens in the room where we where I'm sitting right now. So I'm switching my camera to camera two. <laughs> anyway, so here's the Osby drone production desk using an iMac over there. To the left, we've got some softbox lighting. Over here, we've got a messy wardrobe. Ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> more lighting at the top then over here is where I normally sit in front of the green wall I'm, I normally sit way back there and my wife sits where I am today over in the background in the corner there that's the camera that I normally use um, and there's another light that's sitting back there and yeah so that's the Osby drone studio <laughs> let's put him back over there there we go so who else have we got no one wants to join and say hello today is it they're all camera shy yeah i figured you know yeah. uh let's see who do we have in here uh got geeks vana let's get geeks vana or, yeah, come or on sean come on in yeah <laughs> chris hope yeah yeah chris hope uh, and then there is so Glenn. while we're waiting for other people, let's go and talk about what is happening in the news. So the FAA is doing stuff about drone laws in the U.S. What's happening, Lloyd? I heard there's changes coming. Uh, uh, there is. That just shows how out of touch I am. I have not even been paying attention to the FAA news this week. Okay. I have, I have been drone free, news free. I can't even tell you if we still have a president or not, you know, <laughs> I haven't, I, I have watched, I have been wa binge watched, uh, runaways, which is, a uh, part of the Disney plus, uh, uh, has to do with the Marvel comics. I've been binge watching that for, for three days. When, when I'm awake, Judy's watching her Miss Marple and stuff and I'm watching run runaways, you know, so yeah. I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> so this is this is something that I heard from um, Jeff Sills. I was chatting to him, the, the guy who processes the news for Ken, and he was saying that FAA is changing the laws and the rules and it's going to be um, your existing 400 feet altitude, fine, 400 meet, metres laterally as well as a restriction, um, and only flying at uh, authorised places unless you have something that's going to broadcast your location. 
So that's really? something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So drone ID kind of stuff. Maybe oh, maybe the yeah. DJI equipment will automatically <laughs> already comply, but if you're not using any of that, and I guess this kind of makes sense. If you can imagine, you've got your people who are doing uh, FPV flying. They're right. saying you've got to fly at flying fields or locations that are safe, if you know yeah. what I mean. Right. Oh, darn. So, I want to be downtown and scare people. Go yeah. around inside the building, <clears throat> around towers and so that's one of the stories that I'd heard from Jeff just a little while. What do you, what do you reckon, Lloydie? It's just, it's, well, you know, I, I think sometimes the FAA has gone a little too far. Yeah, maybe, maybe some people fly, you know, and that's usually what causes the problems. We have one or two people that go out there and do something stupid and are not heads. And then the government says, hey, let's make, six or seven new rules just to make it miserable for the people that play it by the book in the first place. Yeah. So that's my opinion pretty much on everything our government does anymore. Yeah. That's why I'm the grumpy vlogger. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Let's see what else we got. I'm just reading down here the the, the story that I'm reading it's entitled a Christmas present from the FAA proposed rules for unmanned aircraft remote ID. Uh -huh. um, this is on a website called aviation today. I'm just opening it now. FAA has released its proposal for small unmanned aircraft remote identification rules, a critical step to safely integrating drones into the national airspace and unlocking advanced operational capabilities. The agency expect these rules to go into effect three years after the effective date of a final rule, which is estimated earlier this year to be 24 months away. So this is a long way away. We're so talking that's good news. Yeah, we're talking probably six years. And by then we'll have a new administration and, you know. Which will have changed their mind anyway. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. By then, who knows? Maybe all the pot smoking left had got back in there and they're all token away and they don't care about nothing but themselves. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> no offense to my 420 friends. So let me do this. I'm going to put your 420 friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he doesn't know what 420 means. <laughs> it's a reference to pot. Yeah. Okay. It, 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 it refers to the, ta uh, the time the stoners will hang out. They would go hang out. Hey, we'll see you at 420, dude. And they, yeah. they all go to their special place, and, it, and it's 420 in the afternoon. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. I've just put on the screen. Um, I've just put on the screen uh, some imagery from this proposal. So three ways of complying: standard remote drone identification, um, limited drone identification is where it's going from uh, your controller back via the internet, um, as opposed to probably directly doing its stuff, and then. Finally, if you don't have any of the above, you've got to fly in the little cylinder, the place where you've got your 400 meters up and later 400 feet up and laterally across. So those are the three ways of complying. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> well, just an example. Next year, everybody in Oklahoma has to get a new driver's license. Whether yours is expired or not, we have to get a new one. Now, I can take my driver's license with his barcode, go down, pick up a script, they scan it, they slide it, you know, it's got the strip, it's got everything on it. But apparently the government needs an extra digit or something, and Oklahoma isn't compliant. So we got to go all buy new friggin' driver's licenses, or we're going to lose all of our federal funding for our highways, which obviously don't. If anybody see my vlogs, you know it doesn't work in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the, you know, our roads are all like that anyway, so we might as well not get the federal funding. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's just so now we're going to get what magnetic strips to put on our drones that don't uh, have built in uh, aircraft identification. I mean, how are they going to do that? The only thing I can say is um, I, I would be telling them where they can put their extra digit. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I didn't even know, you know, because I just renewed mine, you know, this mm -hmm. 
was back yeah. in September on my birthday. And now they're telling me I got to get another one. I hope they're not expecting me to pay full price for that friggin' thing. Yeah. Because I'm not. Yeah. I want yeah. my just, prorated. Just rating, just rating from Geeks Varner about the previous story, there will be a public consultation period um, to work out what type of system you should definitely be communicating and advocating to your members of parliament and let them know what they should and shouldn't be doing. Members of Congress, but yeah. Congress, yeah. parliament, yeah. whatever parliament, you want to call yeah. it. Yeah. 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 The government. The government. Government. Big brother. America. America. Yeah. yeah. America. You don't do that well. You've got to be in my part of the world where you can say America. <laughs> Takes a little yeah. slur to say America. What else have we got here? Um, just looking through the news stories, and uh, you can imagine I'm doing this kind of live with 700 stories. But we've got one here: Japanese so firm so flight up? tests. How did it get so backed up? Because the process mm. of cleaning them requires humans, and the humans wanted to have a holiday day. Oh, They're always whinging about something, aren't they? <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> You'd think they were grumpy or something. Oh. Yeah, you think. <laughs> <laughs> SkyDrive cargo drone. So this is one that's been on before. We've seen that on uh, my, my show and Ken's. It's about that. Um, let me see if I can put it on the screen again. Share screen. So we've seen this little beastie before. Um, it's done its first flight test um, in Toyota City, Japan, this week. So, oh, is that again, that huge, humongous thing that can? Yeah, it yeah. can put a kid in the basket underneath yeah. and send it away. Ken Heron would like that. <laughs> yeah. So this one, oh, actually, that one is a nineteenth of December. That some, it's probably a duplicate of an um, earlier story, but yeah, yeah. Would you, ride it? Would you ride it? Would you ride it? I probably could fit. That's that big guy. enough, you know. That's big enough to hook a uh, folding chair underneath and yeah. go fishing with. Yeah, but Speaking you must which, have permits. Yeah, yeah. How do you get a permit to hang a dr a chair from a drone and go fishing? <laughs> well, in Oklahoma, it's here, hold my beer. Watch this. That's yeah. how we do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, geez. Geez, my fishing license. That's, that's all. I got a fishing license. It doesn't say I can't use a drone. Yeah. I'm using live bait. I'm not using. Yeah, live bait, you know. Out in Florida, that would be live bait. It's just yeah. been the guy over there. Sharks. Be great shark bait. Mm -hmm. Australia, too. See, why are they getting upset? That was just shark bait. <laughs> You guys got sharks all over Australia. What is the what is your uh, castle been out of shape about that for? It's just they were using live shark bait. Yeah, speaking of drones that you can um It's called marketing. True. <laughs> speaking of drones, the the would you ride it kind of category. Again, this one I think it's a repeat of an earlier story as well, but it's just worthwhile having a quick look at the screenshot. Uh there we go. Oh. Would would you ride that? I yeah. love the look of it. Yeah. These are just things coming in my news feed this week. Have you noticed that a lot of them are coming from the Philippines? Yeah, there's um, yeah. one guy that I um, approached to um, try and get him to come on. I can't, uh, what's his name? Kix Mendoza, I think his name okay. on his YouTube channel. Oh, oh wow. He, he's up, he's well, up there a bit. Yeah. At least she's got prop guards on it. But. Yeah, but that was kind of flimsy, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like hula hoops with string wrapped yeah, around them. Right. <laughs> hula yeah. hoops and fishing line. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Earl, so Kix, let's, let's get Kix out. Mendoza, he's, let me see if I can find something of his. I, I want to actually get him um, Mendoza. I want to try and get him to come on. No, what's his channel name? I can't remember. Philippines. 
<laughs> I'm going yeah. back to the Philippines actually in um, in April. Oh, cool. Um, we've got a family wedding, so um, oh, I wow. need to go back there. That wasn't his name. I can't remember his name now. Hey, uh, Greg, what's the name of that uh, dance where they have the two bamboo poles that they hit on the ground and they clap back and forth? They go. I know it, but I don't know what it's called. Yeah, tinkling is that what it's called or pass? Yeah, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> that leaves it open. I I've gotten to know his wife as a producer of this show, and I'm not going to do anything to offend her, so I'll just leave that one alone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm going to go back there for um, family wedding and uh, take the. Uh, I'm probably going to take the Phantom. I've taken it over there before. But the only problem is that it's always freaking raining in the Philippines. Well, uh, wait a minute. You're going to Cavite. Yes. And you're going, in April, you should be okay. But if you go in, <clears throat> in uh, February or March, it's not bad at all. Um, uh, when I went over there myself and... I got married over there myself. It was in April. <laughs> and not only did it rain, it flooded away parts of the family farm. Oh, the boy. outdoor wedding reception was totally flooded out. Okay. And while I went in to the church, a couple of family members missed the wedding and relocated the entire wedding reception from the outdoor location into an indoor location that hadn't even been booked. So, yeah. Oh, boy. It, it can rain any time over there. Yeah, well, they, and they had a typhoon go through yeah. there on Christmas Day. It went through uh, Luzon and Mindoro. Yeah. Um, Yowie P51, I just saw you pop in there. Nice to see you. In fact, I'm going to invite you to come say hello come and join us if you're um, available i want to chat to you about <coughs> sutherland council um, i'll give you my updates and you can give me yours that'd be really cool if you're available i know oh, you don't necessarily like speaking on camera no one does but except us <laughs> crazy people yeah yeah well, is this the guy that uh, is this have to do with the the muckety muck down there at the council that put up the uh, no drones here sign and That's says the one. he's authorized to do it because he authorized <clears throat> himself to do it. That's the one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh there's Mitch. Hey, Good day, Mitch. I, I, oh, keep the screen, hey. Keep the screen just like this. It's perfectly balanced. Yeah, there we go. Well, no, it's not. It's, it's a no hair. Lloyd, it's, it's unbalanced over there. Oz, <laughs> Mitch, <laughs> That's how you doing, guys? This is the good, this is the good. hair club from inside. Where where am I, and 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 what what day is this? Yeah. It's, it's uh, it's tomorrow. It's Saturday. Yeah. It's eleven twenty eight, the twenty eighth of December. It's tomorrow. I'm so it's a very I'm very confused. Day. I'm confused this week. All day today, I thought it was Tuesday. I don't feel bad. I did the same thing. Well, Greg, you called me yesterday, and I said, what's Ken going to do for his show tomorrow? And you said he had it this afternoon. <laughs> I thought it was Wednesday. What the hell happened to Tuesday? Where, where'd you, Wednesday go? And where were you last night when I had my show? Yeah. Who, me? I was. Yeah, sleeping. you. I was sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I skipped Christmas and Boxing Day altogether. I mean, I just zoned out. And it wasn't until after I woke up and I, oh, crap, <laughs> Mitch was on and I missed it. <laughs> hey, Art, <clears throat> we had a three-hour show last night yep. because, and, and you know, uh, Art didn't have to run out because Ken wasn't on. <clears throat> mm. I feel bad now. Was it just the two of you? <laughs> no, we had uh, um, Gary, Brant Ariel. Brant, yep. yeah, yeah. And uh, Mel, Mel came on. And we talked about his little FPV adventure. He, I did hear that he that you helped him uh, tune up his FPV. So. Yeah, I tuned, we tuned it up all right. Yeah. <laughs> What's Brands left of it is a little plastic, there. little plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I said heard that. you were there, Gary. I said Gary from Brand Aerials. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, Gary was there. I wasn't. I was sleeping. I was, man, I worked so hard getting built up, and I was still going out getting stuff for Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve, and we opened our present, and I still had cooking to do. We opened <laughs> our presents at, like, my son was cooking the ham, and he, he said, we were going to do it between one and two, and then pretty soon he says, uh, it's going to be closer to two, and I said, oh, good, that works for me, and then pretty soon he says, let's let's do 2.30, and I said, hey, I'm all for that. Finally, he says, okay, firm three. Finally, about 20 after three, we finally got it all together. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed mm. to have happened at one. Yeah, thank God, because I was still running around getting stuff for Christmas, because we do all of ours on Christmas Eve, so I was wore out Christmas Day, and that was it, so I missed everybody's show this week. Hey, yeah. uh, boy, so, how did you like the candy? I loved it. It just wasn't enough. <laughs> I mean, hey, I made it last for two days. <laughs> <clears throat> so let me jump in for a second. I want to get some opinions on the Sutherland Council story. So P 51 said he can't come in. So I'll share it and get the opinion of my panelists over here and here and here. Um, so in Australia, a council goes and puts up signs. The location they put the signs up is the one and only place in the entire region which is an appropriate slope soaring site. And they say, no drones, you can't use drones here. No. They did it without consultation. They did it um, without any notification of anyone in advance that they were thinking about it. It just all of a sudden happened one day. Then a couple of people, Yowie and myself, ring up and we um, go and try and speak to the guy that did it. And the guy that did it said, oh, well, um, Cassa asked us to do it. So I get on the phone and I ring up Cassa. Hello, did you ask Sutherland Council to put these signs up? No, wasn't asked. In fact, we've never communicated to them about this ever, ever. Cassa is like your FAA. So it wasn't them. So rang rang the guy back and said no it wasn't Casa. okay who is it uh it was um sydney airport corporation rang up sydney airport corporation hello <laughs> did you do this oh, no we didn't do that we we cas is responsible for regulation you know we do chat to various councils about stuff but we can't do that and so on and so on and this guy was lying through his teeth <laughs> you you think greg <laughs> he's lying through his teeth then he comes up and he says oh it was the surf life-saving people well yeah he runs the surf life-saving department so he told himself to go and do it long story short long story short let me just finish okay. the bit um he said we have delegated authority to go and restrict how people can use our land so i said okay let's go and have a look at that and he gave me the legal <laughs> reference to where this was all meant to come from and um, it said yep yeah, you can absolutely councils can absolutely do this they've just got to put it in their plan of management which was not updated in many many years since before drones were even a thing <laughs> so anyway what would you do about that kind of behavior from your local government <laughs> You mean the kind of behavior we we get every day from our local governments? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's typical of local bureaucrats. They, yeah. they, they love to toot their own horn, invent their own rules. But I do know that the FAA, or FAA CASA, issued some rules about it in which, uh, they're, you know, I would report them to CASA. <laughs> This yeah, person yeah. in particular. Yeah, yeah. look, uh, I'm definitely going in that direction. But in addition to that, um, <clears throat> councils are accountable under the Local Government Act. And there's the Minister for Local Government as part of the state government. So I'm going to set them on to the council. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, uh, it's just something that's annoyed me personally. Dude. I did a complaint about the attitude, the way that the guy spoke to myself um and uh others do i need to write to scott again no that's okay 
I'll, well, you know, they I'll, have a guy in government everywhere whose job it is to laugh at complaints that guys like you write. And he, they, he sits back in an office somewhere, and they take your complaint, and they, they bring it into him. He, he gives it a good laugh and then throws it in the trash can. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know in, in our country, in America, uh, there, there, it, you know, there's an overriding law that basically says that the airspace is regulated by the, the FAA, by the federal government, and that local, local uh, government bodies don't have the right to to regulate the airspace. And but what Cass they can do said, is they yep. they can say you can't you can't take off from the ground in our jurisdiction. No problem. Let's hand launch. <laughs> yeah, they can't <laughs> stop you from flying over it unless it's in 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 a federal park or something that's right. prohibited by right. by the federal rules. Right. I don't know. Do you have the same thing like that over there? We do. We do. But the problem is again the takeoff and landing, and then, but their sign doesn't say you can't take off and land. It just says no drones. It's a drone free zone. And again, as. Lloyd said CAS have regulated that and said councils cannot use the no drone sign unless they've got approval from CASA. So, cool. yeah, I can that ignore came it. Out, <clears throat> that came out after this True. knothead. Uh, it's almost like they, they'd they probably got a hundred other complaints about this knothead. So mm -hmm. <laughs> whoever he is. But I will also call, I'll, I'll write Scott. I'll even call no, him when I'm in right. office, you know. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm out for the holidays, <laughs> but, you know, uh, I, Mr. Morrison likes hearing from me. Yeah. yeah. By the yeah. way, anyone else who wants to jump in, someone post the link as well. So, Mitch, how, what have you been up to? What's what, you've been doing uh, the Christmas thing? You know, not much. Went to my son's house for dinner, but uh, basically the weather sucked here. It's been rainy and and windy, and I haven't I haven't been able to fly outside for a week. So, Ooh. I'm climbing the walls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. Oh, by the way, I've got to. I want to before i forget i just saw this on my screen i'm going to put this up Two we have been I want to share. in the mid 60s here dry all week it's been warm but it's going to get cold isn't it in there big cold thing coming across right now that probably <laughs> it'll drop down and hit us you know we'll get, yeah our, our worst weather is in january and february yeah. and uh, well, our deepest snow we've ever gotten was in march yeah I just wanted to jump in and share something for a couple of moments because this is something I came across this week that's really cool. Do you guys know about RTK? You're, you've heard about the Phantom 4 RTK with the little... Yeah, 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 on yeah, the yeah. Top? yeah, yeah. Well, this is a snap-on edition. So if you've got an existing Phantom 4 and you want to do RTK photography, um, this is the kind of the way that you do it. Okay. Well, so, well great, Greg. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah, I'm enthralled. The, yeah, <laughs> you're enthralled. Did I hear Mel? <laughs> no. You do know was... you, you do know that you've got the three probably most sarcastic people <laughs> in the drone community right right here on your show right yeah. now. Probably yeah. did I did I not press the share button or something? No, <laughs> we aren't no. seeing squat. <laughs> haven't seen anything. Okay, take two. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> Uh, snap ppk create your own so version. instead of doing rtk it does post processing rtk it does the same thing where it will get super <coughs> super accurate gps coordinates for every photo and then when you go and photo stitch them together and do your photogrammetry and produce 3d models and stuff you can to quote john when he was talking to me about this um yesterday you can get the thickness of a tile on a roof from the photogrammetry from the 3d model that you build with this thing wow. oh that's awesome and that would be a 249 dollars is a so that's only for that the... little bit you need other oh. bits to go with it oh yeah right? that, of course <clears throat> yeah so which would be cheaper doing the add-on but or this, buying is, a even, whole new this is also better than the, the the dji product but here's really cool every time you take a photo it goes and flashes the leds and it's got something that clips over the leds to detect when it's got to store the data so this has got a little data storage thing down here every time the lead flashes it stores the exact gps coordinates of that photo where the drone was and it stitches okay. it together later on 
But the reason why this is even better than the DJR solution, it pairs up and it connects to another reach device on the ground and it's kind of doing it's building your own little mini satellite network for to oh. in simple terms. Cool. That is awesome. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that and uh, I was going to share something else that I was originally going to do, but I forgot mm -hmm. what it was. Well, I got a question for you, Greg. Yeah. How, how did how did you get rid of the names that usually are right under us in in Is there a setting for that that I don't know about? You know, usually it has Underneath yeah, me, it'll say old that. guy in a drone. Mm. How, they're not here on this stream yard, so how'd you get rid of it? Yes, there is a setting. And where would I find this particular setting? In the settings button. Right if there, you, huh? If you click settings. Okay. And then you click guests. All right. I think there's, a, there's actually a switch. Well, I never look at that crap. You know, I just turn it on and go. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Leave you know, it it's to kind Greg of like the way I kind of like the way I drive. You know, I just get the car started up, right. close yeah. my eyes, and was. away we go. <coughs> I think that's where it was. But oh, okay, I, I, I didn't even know there was a setting because those things sometimes take up half the friggin' picture if you got yeah. a long name. Yeah, if yeah, you got no. yeah. I was just and, playing around with it, and I don't use Streamyards very often. But again, I'm I'm annoyed today because I wanted to do my intro slide. You know, the one I've normally got my my music right. and the Right. drone flight over the back and I wanted to do that and the chat comments on top of that huh. before going into StreamYard. So I had I had Wirecast up and running and it had a virtual camera on. My camera was available. The virtual microphone was up and it was available. But in Chrome, I couldn't see the picture. And in Firefox, oh. I couldn't hear the audio. So I theoretically, I could have strange. been... I could have been the producer and a guest in the show at the same time and fed them via two different feeds, but that would be. <laughs> that would have been a little rough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, Lloyd and I, Lloyd and I are both feeding StreamYard with a, a virtual cam. Uh, yeah. Input. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm using a Mac. Great. What are you using? What are you using, Mitch? Uh, uh, just a, a Windows, uh, Windows 10 PC. Yeah. Yeah. Windows 10. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. Uh, here, you know, you've seen my, you've seen my setup. There it is. Yeah. So I haven't updated um, Firefox in a long time. I don't use it very often. I use it very, very infrequently, and that might be why it wasn't working. Um, mm. Chrome, I had heard rumors that there was a bug in some current versions of Chrome that affect um, camera input, so that's probably where that came there from. There was some problems with it, but for whatever reason, I've noticed here lately mm. that uh, it's working again. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm I have not Chrome. tried. I'm using yeah. Chrome, <clears throat> but I haven't tried it with uh, Vmix yet because yeah. I'm using. Uh, obviously, I'm using. Uh, uh, Thanks. I said it K. again, didn't I? I haven't tried it with Wirecast. I'm using Vmix. Man, my. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. What else have we got? Let me have a quick look back at the comments. Rick I'm surprised you don't have uh, 10 thing. guys in the green room here tonight, Greg. You don't usually throw an open invitation like this. I, I was, know. I was sitting there watching you uh, in my living room uh, eating dinner in front of the TV, and, and you said, come on in. And I said, no, nah, I'm going to eat my dinner first. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> there you go. Um, I must say I do like this comment. Greg yeah. is. is yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are the perfect group. We... <laughs> We're probably four of the uh, most sarcastic guys. I've out got here. this. I've got this weird dry humor, and some yeah. people just don't get it. And <laughs> well, I don't know. It's a lot of it's an Australian humor, and yeah. I get the Auss Aussie humor real well. And you know, I'm sarcastic and have a dry humor too. So I get everybody. <clears throat> I even I even get his jokes. The professional <laughs> comedian down there. Yeah, he's. A, I even get He's a jokes. professional comedian. Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Had to go there, Art. <laughs> yeah. Do you all see this T-shirt my son bought me? It says, "I love sarcasm. It's like punching somebody in the face, only with words." <laughs> my, of course, I'm wearing my uh, Christmas shirt, which is. 42 years of Star Wars. My kids went Star Wars on me this year. Is so. it, been, is it uh, that old? Is Star 42 Wars 42 years, yeah. 42 wow, years, years from, from 
wow. A New Hope, which was episode four, to the final one, which is episode nine. Now, uh, when episode four came out, when episode one came out, it, yeah, the first one, Star Wars, you know, Star yeah. Wars. Yeah. Uh, none of it. We didn't know it was episode four at the time, did we? No, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. So, uh, Who reads I, a little tiny print up there? A New Hope, episode yeah. four. It, was it like didn't a, say, had, but it didn't say it couldn't have said episode four when it first came out. I can't I, imagine they actually I, had planned for that trilogy. No, he did. He I had this had, really. He did. George I Lucas. I had my parents. I had my mum asking me. So I've got on my shelf here episode four, five, six, and one, two, and three of Star Wars. Which one do I watch first? Yeah. Four. <laughs> four. Of course. Does. I know. Yeah. I, anybody I know, knows but that. It's, I, I, then I, I tried even... to explain it to her, and she. <laughs> I don't even watch the first three. I just went through and watched uh, Rogue One, which is just the precursor to Episode Four, A New Hope. And then, and Judy watched them with me. She doesn't normally watch this stuff, but she wanted to see them. So I watched, you know, four, five, and six. Then I watched seven and eight because next week I'm going with my son to see Number Nine. And uh, and nine. they went Star Wars off me. They they got me. Uh, they got me a Millennium Falcon Bluetooth. I won't push the button because I don't want you to get a copyright strike for the theme song. But yeah, oh. it plays, it, but it is a uh, it's full Bluetooth, so I can use it for an extra, you know, for talking hands free in my office with my Millennial Falcon. I can got the little light that turns on, and you know, it's got the battle damage, you know, so. But anyway, that's they got me that they got me the calendar, got me a T-shirt, and I don't know some other stuff. Oops, I better shut that off. Thunderbird Oops. Six Phantom Four Pro available again. Really, really, nice. Huh. Now, here's the interesting thing, and uh, it was available in um, Australia. Do you, have off, do you have Office Works? Do you have that company over there? We have no. Office no. Max and Office oh. Depot. But no yeah. Office Works. Yeah, no. Office Works is a company that's traditionally selling, um, you know, office products. But all of a sudden, they started selling drones, and they had the Phantom Four Pro V2 for an incredible price. I can't remember what it was. I'm just looking. They don't have it again. But yeah, and you didn't buy it. Uh, I've already got my existing drone, and yeah. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. Well, they're still showing them out of stock on the DJI uh, for the V2. Mm. Uh, so uh, that's the only Phantom they show, unless you go to their enterprise stuff, into their industrial. But think about this. The reason why they probably had them in Australia, <clears throat> think about it. The weather. It's warm over oh, here. Yeah, you can go right. fly. They're not going to go and make them available in America that time of year. That's true. Well, if you go to propertyroom.com, you could have won a Mavic 2 Pro for $1,064. Mavic 2 Pro. Oh, that, Mavic 2 right. Pro. New in the box. That's a hell of a price, thousand sixty four yeah. bucks. Yeah. Well, and then uh the uh the one before that, let's see. Oh, the, here's one for nine sixty one. Well, now is that is that what what site are you looking at? Propertyroom.com. What it is is a oh, oh, oh. auction website. Yeah. And uh yeah, so these are unopened but Somebody probably <clears throat> ripped off a store. They got their insurance. <laughs> <laughs> and now the police department is auctioning <laughs> off these drones. So those are the ones that they found in this guy's house. They're auctioning off. Yep. He was the one who was going to go and use them for delivery into the local prisons. Well, probably right. He's probably <laughs> he's going to sell them on eBay. Kind of like my oh, dupe I was going to say, is yours available? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. uh, that's funny. Look, 
um, I, I think I'm getting close winding down. Okay. Um, it is Christmas time of year. I'm going to do this though every week for the month of Jan. Every week for the month of January. So oh, there's cool. no pre-planned, um, highly produced show. I'm just going to have. I'm not going to bother doing the green screen thing. I'm just going to. That's the wall. Whatever's yeah. behind me. Have you noticed how smooth your show went because it wasn't highly produced? Yes, exactly. <laughs> it, did, it started. It started. Mine's off never highly saying, produced. Mine's saying, never highly produced. <laughs> are you saying my wife is the cause of the problem? No, no, <laughs> no. no. Your producer's no. not the problem. Wirecast the is not involved in any yeah. way here. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wirecast is not involved at all with this. Not no. only that, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's it's the content creator and director. Yeah, that is having sure. the problems. Yeah. The producer, everybody right, knows it's right, not the producer's right. fault. Blame it on the director. <laughs> anyway, one thing before I do go, I'm just going to go mobile again and share with you. This is my fun toy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, cool. Oh, yeah. Is that the, oh, what APC. Is that? What is the name of that? So that's an Akai APC 40 Mark II. It's what I use instead of a stream deck or equivalent thereof. Right. Uh -huh. Let me just change. Oh, my okay. Camera okay. Back. You got uh, um, buttons. So yeah, it's um, it it talks into Wirecast and it's got audio faders on it as well. So audio and video control works pretty well most of the time. There's a few <coughs> things that you know I've asked them to improve on, but yeah, it's a nice little toy. Ooh. Well, I'll tell you what, my Monday show was absolute, It, I don't know what was going on, but man, my stream deck was lagging so bad <laughs> that, I mean, it's just, I could, the buttons wouldn't work, and that's why at the end of the show, it started over again, because I'd hit, I'd use the button to end the stream, and it didn't, it didn't end it, so I went over and clicked it, and it, because the button was delayed, it's an on off. It's either on or it's either off, and it started to back again. So I'm clicking to shut it off. Like, yeah, because there was, I mean, and I checked to see if it was going into the wrong because I have it running into a USB three port, which is where it's supposed to. So I don't know what was running in the background that was just screwing with me. Right. But um, I'm just reading Victorian Aerial Vision's comment. Is he making uh, reference to our mental state? Oh hi! <laughs> oh hi, guys! Uh, I I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Streamyard, yeah. Just for the holiday season, I want to have more time to myself and more time for my family, and so no no preparation. Just come here, have a chat, and we'll yeah. do the same thing next week. So it's your fun, kid, Greg, and you know what? You have you have you you have everybody who normally views your show is here as well yeah. so they must be everybody must be enjoying this yeah, yeah look yeah. true but i i enjoy producing what we produce normally i enjoy researching and finding out the content that we normally show but i also like to have a break yeah and yeah you deserve one so good Take you know break. this this would be sort of a a good maybe twice a year do this do it like for the holidays uh you know the the holiday season this time of year and then maybe do it in your middle of your winter when you just want to well chill. i'm gonna have to do something weird in april anyway because i'm gonna be in the philippines so there yeah, you go, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do, a, do a live show from uh your uh what your resort there and uh yeah i mean after so, all you yeah, you know the guy that does the internet over there, there. Greg, show us how you set up the internet there and say, well, let's go say, don't you know the guy that runs that this. internet over there? Yeah, you know what? The internet stuff that I use, um, it's the best internet gear you can find anywhere yeah. in the world. Have you, you heard of you? Ubiquity Networks? Oh. Yeah, oh. I have. Yeah. So this gear I've got in my house, in my parents' house, um, I've got it in a computer room in Dallas where I've got some stuff over there. I've got it at the family property in the Philippines. And most recently, Ken Heron has it in his home as well. 
Ah. And the good thing is all of these things I can help and assist and log in. I can actually see the devices from here. I got a f little dashboard and it's showing the speed and, you know, I've worked in networking all my life. I, I had an internet company while I was still a pimple faced teenager in my parents' house. So as compared to what now you're only what four, <laughs> four steps away from your folks as it is. And you still go there for breakfast. <laughs> wow. got that. so that's in the philippines live right now that's cool um the story out of interest is my sister-in-law i'll change to another camera oh, there's nothing interesting on those my sister-in-law her husband was dying of motor neuron syndrome Ooh. um he was previously Lou Gehrig's disease here um, he was previously involved in um, business and had a very successful business and um, he knew he was dying so it was a case of well I can't run the business while I'm kind of busy you know dying yeah. <laughs> and my wife she doesn't necessarily know about that industry so for that reason, they said, okay, let's liquidate those assets. Let's go and do something and build something and create something. Uh, so they built a small hotel motel type property over in the Philippines on the family farm. And uh, I set up the IT for that. So <clears throat> imagine the kind of the, the high end corporate Wi Fi where you type in your surname and your room number to log in. You don't have to do anything. You know, I've set up all that stuff for them oh, cool. voice over ip telephony and all of that kind of stuff swipe cards on the doors and instead of a average filipino property it's you know nicely decked out cool um, mm. so that's the story <laughs> victorian hero images greg I, spies I on everyone no, i would expect no less from you greg <laughs> yeah i yeah, yeah. and the more i get to know greg the yeah. more <laughs> i have learned yeah you know, i keep thinking you know that's i think that's the reason that my wife's alexa keeps going off in our bedroom i think he's triggering it just he's hacked into my system and he's just triggering it to just go off to annoy me in the middle of the night <laughs> <clears throat> well you it's, do it's realize magic. my previous career yeah i know yeah. no 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 you, this one you don't know about oh well, i don't um, know about this one i you designed spy for the australian secret service yes <laughs> that would not surprise me. He's a hacker. I, I've always said he was a hacker, and I figured um, he's a professional hacker. He was a, I mean, my, look, look I at the talent he has. Look at the talent that he has, Lloyd. He magically appears on your his face magically appears on your cell phone right yeah. when you're trying to do a show. Every exactly week. right. Every just week. Amazing. I know it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, um, unbelievable. I, I designed and built solutions for lawful interception of voice and data internet services so what i said you were a spy. that i used to work for that's what i said and, uh, you were a spy and i'm <laughs> proud to say that as a result of that work um there was a, a, a big uh event back then where a bunch of pedophiles and other nasty people were locked up and put away and you know when you get those kind of outcomes, it makes you happy to absolutely know that the tools that you yeah. built had that outcome. So Very good. who was a Russian spy in the White House? Yeah, I mean, why didn't yeah. they come to you for that? that yeah. Hillary should have come to you to got all the information. She could have got it from you because you could have got it because the smucks well, that she hired obviously didn't know what they were doing. Believe me, Hillary... <laughs> N knows all the information <laughs> yeah she was the one <laughs> she was the one that, that did the, it she was the russian contact yeah I know. she was the one that did it yeah. <laughs> and there goes your let's see and, i think i've got yeah, a sound for yeah. that where is that yep that's yeah, it flushed. that's the sound <laughs> and speaking of getting flushed away that's an hour of our show today and we're flushed an hour down the drain i do like to keep my show to an hour just i don't want it to be too long that's me um so look thanks guys for joining in on the panel um well, thanks for having us greg yes next thanks, week, thanks for the invite yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely next week same time as always it'll be the same kind of informal 
whatever happens happens my studio lighting's not set up i don't have my green screen i just don't want to do it i just want to sit here and chat yeah. yep. it's and, fine uh, it's yeah. fine yep looks good yeah this i thought this was great and i enjoyed yeah, it thanks for having fun. us on always fun yeah. always good so to be I'm with gonna you guys go and try and cut over my audio back to wirecast so that it can play the outro music because i got no other way to feed it into yeah. Streamyard. And um, that means I will cut my camera. My voice over. will be out of sync, and then you can cut your camera over. And we're, we're very high tech about this, hey? Oh yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Cool. Hang on, where's my outro music? I don't even know where it is. <laughs> and your nightbot's still talking about last week's guest. Oh, care factor. <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs> okay, guys, it's been fun. It Thanks is, for yeah. watching. Thanks for being part of it. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Yeah. Right Take care. See, see you, you guys. Bye right. bye. Bye bye. Daddy. Oop. And that's where we hopefully get the music to come out, but it's yeah. not. Yeah. Well, take care, Greg. Good show. See you next week. Mm, okay, see ya. I'm just going to stay here with Lloydie for a minute while I go and watch this because I want to work out why it's not working. This is just me. And where are we? We're going to go and put this up on the screen and oops. There we go. We'll do that. <sighs> I definitely like Wirecast better. But where is my music when I want it? Ah, here it is. Bye, everyone.